Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're gonna check it out how to create some awesome animated text pattern in Spline. All right, first step, I'm gonna delete the directional light and this rectangle, and I'm gonna click on the text, and I'm gonna type in Spline. So far, this is how it looks. Uh, I'm gonna click on Convert a Shape. I'm gonna right click on Group. I'm gonna delete this bounding box and I'm left with the letters. I'm gonna press Alt and rotate. Okay, I'm gonna select the letter S and I'm gonna increase the extrusion. Something like this. I'm gonna go with like 70. Select the 70, press Control C and then I'm gonna select the letter P and the rest of the letters one by one and type in for every each 70 for extrusion. Good. I'm gonna select the letter S and we're gonna work with the materials. As you can see, we got the mine text materials. I'm gonna click on it and here it's gonna show all the settings. We got like lights and the colors, these two. And here we can customize. Now I need to click separately all the time to show this box. Instead, I'm gonna click on this. So now we got all the materials here. Uh, I'm gonna change the light from non to Lambert. The color is gonna be black. I'm gonna change the color to orange, something like, there you go. Now we're gonna click on this little plus and we're gonna change the depth. I'm gonna bring the depth under the light. Okay, I'm gonna click here on the depth and we got this black. I'm gonna click on it, change the color to red. I'm gonna change the blending mode to overlay. So I'm gonna zoom out and as you can see, we got these uh, circles going on. So I'm gonna bring this in as you can see, if I bring it in, it's gonna show like more colors. I'm gonna adjust this also. You can change the color. Okay, I'm gonna change the color here actually to something else. So this is gonna be purple. Um, I'm gonna change back to normal and I'm gonna go to the depth color. I'm gonna change the white to, what is that? Some yellow. I'm gonna click on the letter S again and add color, change it to Fresno. I'm gonna click on the Fresno and decrease the bias eventually. So for example, this is on zero and I increase it a little. So now you can see the letter in more in contrast. So we got all these elements going on that we created. I'm gonna click here on the materials on these four dots and I'm gonna click on the little plus and now we got the new material that we created. Now here on the material, you're gonna click on it and this way we can rename it. Red plus yellow. Now I can go to the letter P for example, I'm gonna click on the material, click on the red plus yellow and voila, I'm gonna select the letter L, do the same thing with the rest of the letters. From here, I'm gonna select them all, right click, group selection. I'm gonna click here on the state plus and I'm gonna click on this little circle and bring the spline text in. I'm gonna go and click on the events. I'm gonna change the start to mouse hover. I'm gonna go to the transition, change it to spring. Okay, let's click on the preview here. And if I'm gonna hover with the mouse, you can see it starts to animate. It's gonna start to go back. There you go. And now how we duplicate these is by pressing Control C and then Control D. So this way we got a new copy. I'm gonna bring this up. From here, we're gonna go to the object at the base state. We're gonna click on the object. Instead of group, we're gonna select group two and the state is gonna be the state instead of base state. I'm gonna hit play and let's see what happens. And this is how it animates. And there you have it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.